in on its big round of funding. That's right after this. Cheddar Shakers brought to you by the all new GoTo featuring GoTo Media. Well, now for more on one of the big funding rounds, we're following the $120 million raised by the cybersecurity firm Sentinel One. With us now is Tomer Wingarten, Sentinel One CEO. Tomer, it's good to have you with us and congratulations. What are you hearing you. from investors as the reason uh, that they wanted to be a part of this round? Well, I mean, cybersecurity is definitely going through a period of, you know, major innovation. And, you know, for us, um, kind of taking that next step and innovating in this massive field is something that is, you know, quite lucrative for investors. Obviously, this comes, you know, about, um, about one or two years of massive growth for us doubling the business, tripling the business year over year. So this is for us is kind of fueling the next stage of growth. Tomer, what can you do from a security standpoint that other companies can't do? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm intrigued by this idea of a completely autonomous AI based platform. What's the competitive advantage that you have? Yeah, I mean, it's, that, that's really the gist of it. I mean, the ability to basically analyze massive data sets um, from any device that you might have on your network and then apply in machine learning based anomaly detection to understand any type of anomaly that might result in a malicious action or a breach, but not only detecting it, but also completely autonomously mitigating the attack with no human intervention whatsoever, which makes our system pretty much do the work for you and in real time deflect attacks and really improve your security posture in a meaningful way. Uh, what are some of the companies that you're working with, Tomer? Um, you know, we, we work with the high-end enterprises on, on one end, so about three of the Fortune 10 are actually our um, customers. And, you know, beyond that, about 2,000 2, other customers from pretty much, you know, any segment that you can think of, a lot of them in the Fortune 500. What is the biggest risk and vulnerability out there right now to corporations and to consumers when it comes to cybersecurity? I think that there are multiple vectors and, you know, the, the news lately was really all about all of these vulnerabilities that, you know, have been uncovered in applications, sometimes even in security applications. So, you know, the, the race to patch systems, the race, the race to detect exploits, I mean, these are some of the most foundational things that, you know, people should be worried about and should be aware of. Um, the other side of it is obviously what attackers then deploy when they uncover these vulnerabilities which typically is, you know, anything from ransomware to, you know, obviously some more high-grade credential-stealing, identity-stealing type of an attack. And when you're talking about ent enterprises and some of the most critical ones out there, obviously that can also result in an interruption to critical services that we all use as consumers. Well, paint that picture for us, Tomer, because I think a lot of people don't realize just how vulnerable our systems are. But what's like a worst-case scenario? Uh, if uh, hackers or, or, or uh, there were to be like a, a large cybersecurity breach? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to create too much, you know, drama and, and you know, uh, FUD. But at the end of the day, I mean, if you think about it, everything we use is completely digitized today from the fuel stations to obviously power plants, um, our, you know, cellular infrastructure, and obviously our financial system. Each one of these systems is something that hackers are, are obviously, or more accurately, attackers are, um, you know, considered very lucrative and they can, you know, in essence, basically compromise. And you can imagine the ripple effects of shutting down, you know, a major financial system. You can imagine the ripple effects of shutting down a power plant or a water plant. Um, all of these are completely feasible. All of these um, companies are definitely using and accessing um, you know, networks that are not in essence always secure as we believe them to be. Mm -hmm. Has the trade war and all of this talk uh, from the U.S. and now the U.K. too, uh, with Trump's state visit over there about national security, has that conversation and narrative that's been building out there in the public been a benefit to the business and demand that you've seen for your products and services? Um, it, it might have contributed, but, but honestly, I feel like a lot of the big enterprises out there are completely aware of how things are, and they're completely aware of how vulnerable they might be. So, you know, there's a there's a complete understanding right now, I think, in the industry that we need to up-level our defenses, we need to evolve cybersecurity, 
you know, part of what we do and the mission that we took upon ourselves is obviously, you know, kind of break through the traditional models of security and provide more advanced ways to deal with what we believe is an advanced world. Tomer Wingard and CEO of Sentinel One, we are going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us on Cheddar Shakers today. We appreciate it. Thank you, John. Appreciate your time. Well, coming up, guys.